straight. Welcome to the shop. My name is Tavarish. I'm Jared. And this is Wrench Every Day. We're not actually at a shop, are yeah, we? No, not, not a shop at all. We are uh, in we're, a driveway. We're in some dude's driveway in Georgia. It's a little bit chilly, uh, as it should be because it's December. Yeah. But this is very exciting because we got a new build. This car is insane. Now, a lot of you have been asking, why are we doing cars that... Um, are like Earl and yeah. Johnny Rev and Honda Rousey and all this stuff. People want to see a supercar, like like an exotic supercar, a proper exotic supercar. Now, I mean, we had super cars. Yeah, they're supercars. That they're not supercars. Yeah, and uh, exotic is in rare and unusual, but not something the entire world uniformly acknowledges as an exotic and a supercar, the likes of Ferrari, mm -hmm. uh, Lamborghini, mm -hmm. um, Porsche. Porsche. Yeah. Like this was a contender and compared to all of these cars. Yes. So we went out and bought something and boy, howdy, is it awesome. Take a look at this. Ooh, this thing is awesome. So this is a 1990 Lotus Esprit Turbo SE. It's a special SE. edition. They don't just sell it to anybody. Yeah, not not anyone. You you had to pay extra for that S and the E. Yes, and the E. And the yeah, E. Yeah. So. Um, well, I didn't pay extra for this uh, because it doesn't run and it has a few issues, uh, as you can see. But this thing is like awesome 90s 80s flair now we've both spent a lot of time driving this car in need for speed 2. well you have i i have I, I've, I I've spent a lot of time hearing about you playing okay. the, playing about um, this car neither we both love the car neither yes. of us have even attempted to ever sit in uh, an s3 stevens designed lotus so Stevens I, I, designed. I, I get. Did you Stephen go on body? Wikipedia before you got no, here? I, I know these things. Oh, I, you just I, know I, these things. I do know a fair bit about these because I do. Listen, look at its profile. It's the nine-year-old's fast sports car, like straight lines everywhere, straight glass. Um, yeah, the straight. Well, the glass, the cracked straight glass. That. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I, we have, dude. There's plenty of space here. There, there is space. Yeah. I may need to remove the headrest for that one inch. You may need to remove the seat. Probably. Yeah, let's... Let's see. Although I have proven to be able... It goes down a lot. Okay. All yeah. right. That's There's... what she said. So... I mean... It's not... You know, once you're in... You're... You are in. Yeah. It's like um, Olive Garden. Once you're... Once you're here, you're, you're here. You're, you're here. There, there is a taste. I will will admit cars there, don't need taste, Jared. But uh, this one has one. Okay. Uh, but, uh, well, the roof comes off, so you can put your well, head out. I have leg room, but I can't operate the pedals with appropriate. I'll put my feet on the pedals here. Here we go. Now my feet are on the pedals. Okay. So you look comfortable. I'm something. I'm in a Lotus. This like, is a, this is a this good is look a great place to be. It, it looks like a great place to be. It doesn't what? smell like a great place to be. Oh, that's that's your door handle. That's how it opens? I thought that might have been, but no, that's your ashtray. Well, you have... This oh. This is more important to... Okay, that's <laughs> cigarette lighter right there. Ashtray. This was made in the 80s, for sure. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Uh, look at the beautiful cluster, though. Like, the gauges, like, feel like an airplane, almost. Like, it's just very mechanical. Your air vents. What, what's what's this guy? What's what's happening here? I don't think we paid enough for that. Okay, that was extra. That was for the S S E. Yes. Yes. The super super. We have a cup, or no? We have uh, a piece of leather velcroed on to finish off the uh, one and a half din radio opening. Okay. Um, we Fun have a shifter. fact. This is uh, very similar to the DeLorean. So all this center console, that is almost straight up from a DeLorean. Um, the entire frame, like the entire substructure is made exactly like a DeLorean. And the engine, while not a DeLorean, has a transmission that is identical to a DeLorean. You look like you're very comfortable right now. What's amazing is 
like that seat drops a lot. Uh huh. Like you look at it, like oh, there's no hope. No, you you can. Or, well, there still isn't very much hope. Hey, I don't, your I don't turn. Think... Okay. Go your ahead. turn. Okay. If if I don't fit, we're screwed. It doesn't matter. We're building the car. Uh, it goes down a lot. Yeah, I told you. Like it just keeps going. Your butt hits. And it goes, and it goes. Oh, dude, this is perfect. <laughs> oh, I mean, this is so good. I, uh, this is, this is the heaviest clutch I've ever felt. <laughs> that that has to be broken. That has to be stuck or something. That could be normal. I felt some heavy. I haven't, dude. This can, is. Can you this... do some handbrake skids? <laughs> wait, wait. The question is, I'm gonna close it here. I'm gonna hand the camera, and I want to close the door. Can okay. you even reach that? With the door closed. With the handbrake? Okay. Now, oh, that <laughs> that's a lot of dust. Uh, yeah, I can reach the handbrake here. Uh, it's a flying handbrake that's usually put in different UK cars. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I reached it fine, but a lot of dust came out when you closed the door. Oh, so you can taste the Lotus too? Oh, I'm tasting it all right. <laughs> uh, let, actually, let's take a look at what we have here. This is a really cool center console even though it's like super 80s everything is hand built so nothing fits but one of the things i like about this look at that glove box there's plenty of room for everything lots of room for activities this i guess is for a uh well, let's not touch that it's making a lot of cracking noises but the roof comes off and uh behind there is an engine i think maybe Dude, this thing looks so amazing. This thing looks awesome. I love them. They're fantastic. Uh, yeah. Um, so the guy that's selling this to me, he had this for, well, it, it hasn't been for sale, but it's been sitting for a few years. And he spun out pretty early on into his ownership experience of this, which is something that's not really all that uncommon with yeah. like 90s and 80s mid, mid rear engine cars yeah so, so he spun out and uh, he did some damage to the bumper and then the front bumper and he also said that there's something wrong with the engine so uh, i don't know if it's out of time or whatever that engine apparently does not run but it has a 2.2 liter four cylinder uh with a turbo turbo garrett t3 flanged i think it was the 52 on it because the slightly later got a bigger one i've yeah. been reading turbo stuff you're you're talking engine swaps i'm talking let's make you can 1990 yeah. charge cooler it's a charge cooler. cooler it's an air to water intercooler from the factory and it has an over boost function <laughs> which gets this to 280 horsepower which is really cool because this car is very light it gets to it gets from zero to 60 in like 4.6 seconds which back then was literal supercar stuff like this does 160 miles an hour not right now but you know when it was new well and even today sub five seconds is a quick zero to 60 time like are you sure for normal cars for a minivan maybe uh, most cars are yeah. uh, in the four to five range so listen i know your titan needs a little help getting to 60 but not all of us have those problems okay some of us have seven threes all right. They know. You what don't even worry about. 60. They know. They know what true power <laughs> is, my friend. And you don't worry about sixty miles an hour. No, you never get there. So um, right now there are a few issues um, with us getting this onto the trailer over there because this car is very low and uh, some of the tires are flat. So we need to get a toe strap or something yeah. on here. Toe strap, and we're gonna get what's called a come along. It's a ratchet that helps pull it because all of it's sitting. And kind of forgotten nature the rotors have rusted and it does not push well so we yeah. need to air up the tires and drag it on the trailer and load up our goodies too oh yeah we got we got goodies so we'll go over all the goodies um when we load it up and then get it back to the shop and when we get it back to the shop i want to see this engine bay because we we currently can't get into it because i think uh it's like rusted shut so yeah. um but Dude, glass engine cover? Yeah, glass engine cover. You get to see your you have a rear window that you really just see the engine, you don't see anything else. This is all like this is game changing because Lamborghini did this in like 2007. Oh I I am I like this car. It, like, it is fantastic. It, it is terrible and wonderful. It is not terrible. It, it is, is just 1 wonderful. It is 1% terrible, 99% wonderful. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's let's go get this thing on the trailer. That's loud.
Can you is this a little loud? Can you be quieter? What? And uh, we're about to un... See, when I choose my hydraulic jacks, I choose them for their smoothness and their noise. I want a discreet hydraulic jack. So we are going to tilt the nose and unload our uh, exotic car and bring it inside. So far, everyone stopped by real quick to take a look at it because this is, despite modern standards, a proper 90s exotic car. What do you mean, despite modern standards? This is like, even by modern standards? You remember when I said it's 060 in modern time was still quick and you're like, no, it's not. Well, I'm, I mean, that's, you know, whatever. So we're off the trailer. Yes. And I have a bet for you. A crisp. <laughs> George Washington. Uh huh. If you can get the bonnet open in under 30 seconds and go. Okay. You're 15. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Okay, there we go. It's not open. It's not open. It's all not the way. Open. What? You didn't say all the way. It's open. Okay. All right. Did you Google? No, I didn't Google. Give me my dollar. And this, my friends, is how you make the big bucks. Okay? Just do this a million times, and you too can have a Lotus. So, uh... We'll explain the mechanism. It's uh, kind of ridiculous. You have these two tiny little latches that uh, connect to a piece of coat wire, almost. Uh -huh. There's just a little piece of bent wire that uh, the way you latch it is uh, also close it with them open and then you physically latch it. So what's funny is that uh, Jay Leno just did a Lotus Esprit on his channel and he was asking the guy, he's like, all right, so how do I close it? And they were like, well, you just, uh, you just close like this. And he slams it right onto the latch. Oh, no. And then oh. they go, oh, no, you have to wait for the, you have to have the latch open to close it. So it's not like a regular latch. Uh, and you definitely can damage this. The entire car is fiberglass uh, and the steel uh, structure. Uh, I think there's some aluminum in there. I don't know. It's a light car. but uh, And it's an awesome car. I like, what's amazing is how clean this area is for a car that's been sitting outside. Yeah. Oh, and you can see how beautiful that white paint yeah. originally was, but like, it's an amazing condition. Well, like, I'm not gonna say amazing condition, but it's definitely- Listen. It's, it's for, together. For, for the cheapest Lotus Esprit Turbo. Yes. Lotus Esprit period, Turbo V8. It's in pretty good condition. Just ignore the bumpers. Okay. And the windshield. So I. And the interior. I think. Yeah, let's ignore all and that. And the wing. I and, think what we should do is. You're just listing off everything. <laughs> um, I want to get into that engine bay. Let's. Oh. So first we have to remove our uh, safety tape. Yeah. So. Never leave home without it. Oh, oh boy. Did some paint come off too? <laughs> okay. Uh, well. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, paint was likely in this car's future. Okay, well, we'll pick you up. Uh, is this how it works? Nothing happened. I, I just watched your video. Isn't something supposed to happen when you do that? Here, you try. Okay. It didn't okay. work, but the tape's off, and uh, the old paint is off, or, or the new paint, so now we can see a really nice original paint. So a lot of people don't know this, but this is exactly how you detail a car. You take a bunch of Gorilla tape, you just put it all over the car, yep. and then you just yank it off when it's really cold, and then all the old paint comes off. So it's like a clay bar technique. That is not an actual technique. Don't do that to your car. Let okay. me go hit the trunk release real quick. Uh, uh, and here's the cable. The roof is closed. Okay. Uh, uh, I think, it, I think it worked though. I mean, it's making noise. Okay. Do you need help? It's a little bad. You got it up? You're getting it up? Slowly? 
Um, there are no. Oh, there's the shocks. Oh. oh okay. Uh, All right. Here, let's do this. Maybe before uh, you maybe break it. This off. Let me set the camera down. Hey, and, I found the battery. Oh, 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 I gotta adjust the tripod. Okay. Time to okay. factor, Jared. All right, I'm here. Go to the other side. Oh wow. Wow. I thought this Lotus was lightness. Lotus is about adding lightness. All right. Oh this... Jesus. <laughs> uh, let's go to the trail. Oh wait, now it's lighter. It was just an awkward angle. So much room for activities. Okay, we're back. Look at that. Ooh. So, what makes this the SE is that. What is that? That is a charge cooler. It's an air to water intercooler. Okay, we're, we're done talking about that. I found something better. What? It's so adorable. Oh yeah, a little turbo. Okay, now you can go finish your conversation. Actually, there's something, usually you don't, you don't want one of these directly after one of these. You want a little bit you of space. You want a little bit of space. You want like four inches, four to six inches. This uh, is uh, not that. Well, someone also got a little excited with their clamp tightening on that uh, metal flange. Is this a stock exhaust? I don't. It doesn't look like it's it. It's got two sensors. Take a look at this. Look how close the timing belt is to everything else. Also, uh, that's a little loose. You think? Oh boy, this is gonna be kind of tricky to uh, check timing, and we need to get up from the bottom to also confirm timing. Do you have? Well, do you usually have a problem getting up from the bottom? Uh, from the bottom, I, you go from the top. What? You don't go top down. You're bottom up. What are we talking about now? Uh, timing belts. Oh, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, some cars would have a little hole there, so you can see this. So. We're gonna have to find some type of manual to tell us how to check that. Do you have any clue how to check that? I was I was hoping you knew. I was hoping that, you know, I had Jared that knows everything about everything and now now you're saying that that's not the case. I, I know a lot about a lot, but not everything but, about everything. But not this. I, I really like how this fuel line does a loop-de-loop. -loop yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, so that way it has shock absorption. What's really cool is that uh, this turbo, I think, has been either changed or something. Because look at that wastegate. Uh, look at the wastegate and, and the fact that it's missing uh, a cotter pin. Yeah, yeah, there's supposed to be a little spring here. Uh, and there isn't. Yeah. Look what I found. Oh, wow. You just broke it. I found stuff. I found That's things. a lot of relays. I found things in junk. So... This looks so much like a kit car. What does that do? I don't know. Is that your check engine light? Don't press this button. It's not a button, it's just a light. That might be the check engine. Look at this, what is this? Uh, that is how you tune it. You plug in via a stereo cable. <laughs> I don't know if that's at what that one is, but there is such thing as tuning that way. Uh, this probably should be connected to something. I mean, it's only the water pump for your um, charge cooler. Yeah. Where does that go? Freddy, blow? Hold on, got it. What do I, you hear? I hear the ocean. Okay, you should blow the ocean. <laughs> yeah, it's a good engine. That's a, that's a, hold on. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> How's it taste? Yeah, uh, great. Well, that's we've that. kind of explored the car as much as we can on the ground. We got some boxes. Do you want to go inside where it's a little warmer? And let's let's look at the other goodies. Oh yeah, we got we got lots of other stuff. All right, we are inside. It's warmer, and we have we have parts here. Uh, actually, it's um, it's not that much warmer, but uh, Jared gets very hot very quickly. And uh, no, I am not talking about his appearance. Jared, no, he, he likes he, it when it's he's like, talking about my appearance. No, I'm not. I'm not. So Jared likes it when it's like 30 degrees. That's shorts weather for Jared. Uh, so the second we came in here, he just like threw off his hoodie and uh, I noticed that he is now wearing an awesome, very fashionable, Ooh, question. make questionable choices tee that you can find on our bunker branding page. Link in the description below. Definitely get one of those because uh, you guys need to make some questionable choices of your own, just like we've made questionable choices with this car. I am very excited about all of these extra parts. Uh, so, what do we got here? So first, this is something I imagine a lot of the Lotus user uh, viewers, if you know all 12 of you, wish you had. 
When you remove the removable roof, the targa section, this snaps in in its place to give you a little bit of a windshield. Right. Which, you're gonna you're gonna need this. So the actually no, you're not gonna need this because this is gonna be blocking your line of sight. Well, no, it, it lays flat, so it doesn't sit up. So oh, okay. even if it did, I could probably still look over. It. Yeah, just it'll be like that. <laughs> this is me driving a Lotus. <laughs> Uh, All right, so we also have a engine bay cover here, which is uh, pretty cool. They have uh, vents here for all the heat coming out of that engine, and that engine produces a lot of heat, yeah. even though it's a four-cylinder with a kind yeah. of small turbo. Well, it doesn't matter what engine it is. If you put it in a really tight, confined space, it's going to make heat and radiate a lot. Are you so, sure? Yeah, you can put... I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, pretty much any engine... I don't think that engine makes any heat. That is a very small engine. Listen, it has holes in the trunk lid so it can vent its heat. Those are speed holes, makes the car go faster. So uh, another uh, really cool thing mm -hmm. is we have in original factory bag, the glass target top. Dude, this is a game changer. I mean. Are you sure it's glass and not like Perspex or something or uh, well, I mean, Lexan? It, uh, it could be. Mm -hmm. And then we have this box. Yes. That we haven't gone through yet. What's so. in the box? All right. That's a, that's a reference to a very old movie. So we, we have, have uh, owner's no. manual. The handbook. There's a CD-ROM? Wow. From Esprit World. Okay. So these might be the... There's the manual. Oh, dude. There's a workshop manual? The factory service manual. Now, you know what the problem is? I don't have anything that can read a CD-ROM. Do you? Uh, we need to buy an old laptop just for this to work. Or get an external CD No way that drive. works with like Windows 10. Technical data. How to decode your VIN number. Uh -huh. uh, here we go. Uh, it can go up to 190 mile an hour in short durations at sustained 190 to 240. No, I think this is, is that kilometers an hour? Because it's yeah, a sustained it's, yeah, no. 240 to 270. Oh, no, no, there's okay, no, there. there's there no way. <laughs> there we go. That's kilometer. There's mile an hour. Okay, that that makes more sense. <laughs> well, if your Lotus does 270 miles an hour, you might want to up your tire pressure a little bit. Like, all you get nowadays is... <gasps> oh, oh, that's so cool. Look at that. All you get nowadays is, please see your dealer. Uh-huh. Holy cow. Well, in this, you are the dealer. <laughs> You are there, the warranty. There's, there's most likely not going to be a Lotus dealer in the surrounding 300 mile area. So this, you you are on your own, buddy. How to take care of your body? Um, I could use some tips and trips on that right now. Not me. I'm I'm total and utter perfection. <coughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that that is cool. We need a CD-ROM to to see what that is. Oh, it's a spare. Oh. I thought this may have been a back. So it's a spare cover. For, what? for the other top. So when both your tops are off, you can keep them in storage. Right. Um, this is a... Uh, uh, whoa, dude! Oh, man, an S1. So this is early 80s, late this 90s. This is crazy! Holy cow. Here is another S1. We got Hot Wheels? A code car and yeah, a spree code car. So that's an S4, I yeah, think. Yeah, that's an S4. Yeah, because you can see by the uh, the wing in the back. Here's our mirror. The mirror is there. A coffee mug. Uh, okay, Wait. so that ECU is tuned. It, I think it is. Yeah. This, so this, this is an EP, EP ROM chip. Yeah. So early, modern computers, you plug in a laptop Dear and you, you change a lot of <laughs> stuff. So we we found a built tuned Lotus abandoned in a like how fun of a story. Like it really yeah. is exciting. So. You plug in a computer and do lots of easy things. The way you used to do it is you would have an EEPROM writer and you would write your fuel data on this chip and this then plugs into the ECU. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we have this, there is a very strong likelihood between the fuel injectors and the other parts, it's already hot rotted. Yeah, it has some go fast bits on it. Which, that is so cool to see. This is cool to go up on the wall. Yeah, this is a metal sign. This is an old school metal sign. All right, we need to get a VHS. <gasps> yes! He called it the Pretty Woman car and has included a VHS <laughs> of Pretty a, Woman. There's a VHS of Pretty Woman. That's in so cool. Oh, we need to get a members only jacket now. We do, yeah. There's a patch. Oh, the complete story. Not the, not the half the story. Ah. Uh. 
This is so cool. The guy that owned this car loved it. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. And on our trip back, we had talked about what what we oh this page has been opened a lot. Like the book falls to yes. this page, <laughs> and there's a reason for it. Uh huh. Um, like we were engine swap ideas, and we we don't want to do that. We just want to fix it. Like yes. the four cylinder engine. What this car could do with a four cylinder it was so insane that it deserves to just be right like everything hopefully yes so this is the 910 s charge cooled and there's basically a dyno sheet of where how much power it makes what's cool so here's your normal chart and then here's your overboost function the uh -huh. dotted line so well, that's the that's the transient performance right so like you know like a like a hobo or a drifter yeah. like a transient when he gets in your car he knows what to do so that is so cool. Like, again, just all these goodies. And we've not looked through this box. We've been antsy. So there's more trunk latch parts, some Let's vacuum tubes. Oh, oh, all the receipts and stuff. It was purchased uh, in 2005. Okay. For $30,780. That's less than what I paid. Yeah. No. 30000 That's more than what I did. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't buy the car, crash it, and then sell it. You ever had a brain fart? I just had one. <gasps> oh, oh no, please. that's a window sticker. Oh, and it so it sold out of Pinell, right? Pinellas, Pinellas Park? Park? Yeah, Pinellas Park, Florida. So Southern, original, Sutherland Lotus, what was the original 85. 85 grand, $85,182. Dude, Holy cow. this is the most They're, complete car I've ever owned. Like it, this is, it was imported through Savannah, Georgia. Mm -hmm. That is so amazing. Like I don't Lotus. think my garage is nice enough for this car now. Like we have to do right by this car. We have. Hundred percent. There's a what? trans axle. And trans. I just love the fact that he printed out information and like laminated it so he could keep it. We have to get this car running because um, I want to. I want to hear that car uh, do its thing. Yeah. So uh, yeah, um, how, how do you how do you usually do this? You say you say yeah. this, right? Yeah. You say yeah. you say make, make questionable choices. Make questionable choices and uh, buy some of our merch. Yeah, buy our merch and also buy a Lotus because they are awesome. Awesome, awesome. Not questionable. No, not a little bit. 